Hi Aquarius, welcome to Eclectic Duality. My name is Alyssa and today we are doing a redo of your monthly reading. Okay Aquarius, so here's the deal. I recorded your guys' reading uh, several days ago and I uploaded it to YouTube, put it on private so that it would be ready for when I was ready to um, give it to you guys. But I didn't rewatch it. All I did was go through and make sure that everything, you know, uploaded correctly, that it wasn't fuzzy, that it wasn't breaking up, you know, any of that kind of stuff. Well, I put it out there today. And don't ask me why. I just had a feeling that I should listen to some of the readings I put out today. So I listened to my Capricorn reading, listened to my Scorpio reading, and then I listened to my Aquarius reading. And Aquarius, you know, sometimes the messages that I get, they, they aren't messages we want to hear, and they're not always flowery, that's for sure. However, I try to approach the readings in a way that is kind and empathetic, you know, and I try to take a positive spin on negative situations. But when I listened to that reading, I could not believe half of the things I said. I I don't I didn't feel like I gave the reading in a kind way. I don't feel like I was empathetic to your guys' feelings. I was getting kind of a harsh message, you know, when I channeled your guys' energy, but I don't feel like my delivery was fair and I don't feel like my delivery was right. And you guys deserve so much better. Now, I'm so glad I went back and watched the video because I didn't receive any comments. No one said anything. So, I mean, there was no hate from you guys at all about this reading. In fact, Aquarius, you guys are always amazing. Incredible. You guys only give me love if you say anything at all. Um, but I feel like you guys deserve so much better. And I apologize for that reading that I put out at the beginning. So we are going to do a redo. This is a mulligan, Aquarius. So here we go. Messages for my Aquarius for the coming month. Messages for my Aquarius for the coming month. All right, we got quite a bit of cards here, Aquarius. Okay. So one of the big things I am feeling, Aquarius, is there's something right now that I see a dissolution of something. So for some of you, if you're involved with someone else romantically, this could be an ending to that situation. If there is a career that you're unhappy in, this could be an ending to that situation. If you have a friendship where there's been a lot of conflict, this could be an ending to that situation, okay? So one big thing that I want to mention here is with the Ace of Wands in reverse, with the Two of Cups in reverse, a Six of Cups in reverse, and then your card, the Star, then the Hermit, then the Queen of Pentacles, this is all telling me that whatever it is that you guys are leaving behind, whatever it is that is dissolving and ending, it is something that wasn't good for you in the first place. So it's not like if you are going through a breakup with someone or you're ending a friendship or you're leaving a job that you're leaving something that you were happy in, okay? If you guys are leaving something right now or if you're leaving something in the coming month, it is something that did not make you happy. It is something that brought a lot of toxicity, you know, into your life that was tainting the happiness you were feeling in other areas. You know, this was something that was not fulfilling you, something that was really bringing you down. And I see you guys walking away from that. 
in the next coming month and really getting into this first of all with the star here showing up your card really getting back into your own energy of positivity you know really moving forward into new things but i see you guys taking a period of kind of introspection you know really looking at you know why that last situation went wrong you know because some of you even though this was a situation job person whatever that didn't make you happy you know there doesn't mean it's easy to just walk away it doesn't mean there's not a challenge okay so for some of you there's kind of that period of okay so did I do something wrong here? Did, could I have done something better? But honestly, I think you guys are going to find that it wasn't you in this situation. You were not the cause of this ending in terms of it going south and you having to walk away. You walking away was the best decision you could make in the circumstance because the circumstance was not good for you, Aquarius. And with this five of pentacles in reverse, with the six of pentacles, two of swords in reverse, three of pentacles in reverse, and the seven of pentacles in reverse, this is very strongly saying that there was no forward movement that could happen in this at all and the reason was is because I feel like a lot of you were giving to this situation and giving and giving and giving and putting in a lot of work but the other party or other people involved were not putting in the same level of work okay and if that's not specifically the case I get that whatever this situation was it wasn't helping you work towards your end goal here now if it's a career you guys have a profession or career in mind that you really 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 want and this specific career or profession simply was not helping you towards that goal and if you guys if your ultimate goal is to find a relationship where you feel loved and appreciated and safe and someone who is truly a partner with you in life you know you didn't feel like this current situation situationship relationship whatever um was bringing you towards that so once again the only good choice was to walk away and now we have the empress we have the two of wands the four of wands in reverse and the hangman so once again we're basically i see you guys with this queen of pentacles and this empress i feel like that's linked so i feel like once you guys walk away from this this situation that caused a lot of conflict in your life you'll find that you start to feel more stable than you have in a long time and once again with the two of wands and the hangman and you know showing up in this reading I feel like there's that time of introspection of really analyzing what happened analyzing why this didn't work out trying to to figure out you know how you can learn something from this situation um, one of the big things that I picked up uh, from this energy is the person that you were dealing with I get a lot of challenging energy from that person I feel like this was someone who really didn't have your best interest in mind and I don't feel like this is someone who is especially kind to you okay um, I feel like if you were in a relationship or a situation um, with someone you know there might have been almost this um, inclination to lash out at you whenever they had an emotional reaction, okay? And that's not healthy for you, Aquarius, at all. And if this is a workplace, I feel that, you know, there was something, it could have been a boss, it could have been coworkers, you know, where you felt like you were constantly being nitpicked. You felt like you were getting backlash for maybe things that weren't even your responsibility, okay at all now one message I do want to give you guys as a note of caution if you are dissolving a friendship with someone or dissolving a romantic relationship with somebody um, you know be careful how you end that relationship because the energy that I'm picking up on this person is they might intentionally try to sabotage you or they might do something really unkind to you um, if they get too emotionally turbulent, okay? Um, and in terms of a workplace, I would say make sure you have all your ducks in a row when you leave. So um, 
if you are in a environment at a workplace that's really toxic to you, um, try not to just quit cold turkey. Make sure you have something lined up. Have your resume ready. Do everything you can to make sure that it's a smooth transition. Because I almost feel like once again, there's gonna be something about this workplace or your financial situation that will kind of sabotage things a bit. So just keep that in mind that as you leave these situations that are not good for you, you know, definitely, uh, be cautious in the steps you take leaving them, okay? All right, Aquarius, let's see if we get any more messages here. Messages for my Aquarius in the coming month. I really feel with this this uh, page of pentacles and the ace of swords that this is basically a new start of truth okay a new start of stability for you guys you know with this tower in reverse and the justice once again i'm getting that message of be careful how you leave whatever situation it is that we're talking about okay whether it's romantic or a career, or a friendship, or an opportunity, you know, any of that, just be careful how you leave, okay? Because I get the energy of, so let's say that you're in a relationship with someone, or you're dealing with someone who is a bit unkind in the workplace, and you just decide, okay, you know what? I'm leaving. I'm out of here. I am not dealing with this anymore. I deserve better, okay? Let's say that happens and then some kind of argument happens between you and someone else and you know they say things that are hurtful they say things that are spiteful and some of you might automatically without even thinking say something spiteful back okay we're all human and sometimes we get triggered that just that just happens and i feel like sometimes or for, I think the better way to say this is, for some of you, whatever comes back out of your mouth in response to what they say to you um, could cause more conflict and more turmoil as you're trying to leave. So like I said, I, I really, really, really wanna caution you guys on how you leave, because I feel like there's someone else in this situation who will do everything in their ability to try to sabotage you, okay, Aquarius? And you guys don't deserve that. You don't. You guys are beautiful souls, and the only thing you deserve is abundance and love and happiness, okay? All right, Aquarius, let's get the Romance Angels Oracle here. What can my Aquarius expect in regards to romance in the coming month? I have retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Release your ex, the time has come to clear your energy. Okay, <laughs> okay, Aquarius. So, big initial message is it, it really coincides with the Hermit card and the Hanging Man, the Hangman uh, card showing up. I see you guys in the coming month, you know, pulling back into yourself, and not in a negative way, but pulling back into yourself for introspection. Okay, and you guys are really clearing your energy releasing an ex you know if this is if this is a romantic breakup you know releasing some kind of energy that was really causing you a lot of conflict okay um and then with this next line we have soulmate let your friends help you in reverse forgiving and learning in reverse and worth waiting for okay so with this i see that as you release this other 
conflict within your situation, I see that you guys are actually opening the door to something way more positive. You know, with the soulmate card, even though we're asking specifically about romance, I do want to say for some of you, this is going to be about friendships. So if you are dissolving a friendship with someone who, you know, wasn't kind to you, you know, I basically see that as you release this other person, you're going to have someone else come in and they're going to give you, you know, the energy of a healthy friendship of someone who's going to truly be there for you, someone who's going to truly want the best for you, someone who's going to support you, which is a really, really beautiful energy, Aquarius. But if this is romance, I see someone new coming in and there's going to be something about them where there might be this aspect where you guys, you guys might have dealt with a lot of people in the past who didn't treat you in the way that you deserved, okay? So the kind of feeling that I get here is that if you have someone come into your life who is truly loving and accepting of who you are, there's almost going to be this these moments where you're you're going to say something and then I almost get the the picture of you guys flinching because you're you're wondering what that person's response is going to be. You're anticipating a bad response in um, return to you being honest about something. And what I'm getting with this forgiving and learning and reverse and letting your friends help you reverse and then worth waiting for right next to it, I feel like this is someone who you don't have to apologize to. This is someone who is going to accept you for who you are, who's going to realize that you're human, that we all have good days and bad days, who's going to realize that, you know, you're someone who, you know, is super loving super loving and fun and adventurous, but sometimes you need time to yourself to regroup. This is someone who's going to accept every part of you. And that is absolutely beautiful, Aquarius. Now, keep in mind, you know, with that coming in and um, with the soulmate and the worth waiting for coming in here, but we don't have like passion or attraction or something like that or any other cards romantically, I really feel like this is more going to be initial energy of you meeting this person and you guys just click immediately but I don't feel like it's going to progress to the full romantic level this coming month but I do feel like this energy is coming into your space once you release this other situation and this situation is just going to take off in the next coming months okay so that is absolutely beautiful Aquarius absolutely beautiful and one one more piece of advice that I just heard um, is once again when we get hurt sometimes we lash out okay so even if there's someone in your vicinity who is trying to hurt you by being verbally abusive or emotionally abusive here I see that your best course of action is to turn around walk away and completely cut them off from your energy completely um i i really i keep being told over and over and over again that lashing out at them because they hurt you is going to be a mistake okay it will end up being a mistake it'll be something you regret because like i said I feel like the other person in this situation from the first situation we talked about is not a very nice person, okay? And if it's a job, it's not a very nice workplace, okay? All right, Aquarius. Well, that is your redo reading. Once again, Aquarius, I honestly, when I listened to that mess, when I listened to my Aquarius message, I got so upset at myself. I got so upset. And like I said, nobody said anything to me. It was not like I received hate or anything from you guys. Because like I said, you guys are so loving and you guys have been amazing to me. But it made me want to cry. I was like, I cannot believe that I gave that kind of message to my beautiful Aquarians. You know, my delivery was all wrong. And all I can say is from my heart, I deeply apologize. And I hope this reading did you justice, Aquarius. All right, guys, I love you so much and take care.